go. Remember this. And remember this. I think we've got 20 years as an industry to make an important part in making sure that the biggie does not happen. It's got to involve some pretty cool stuff. Like controlling our economy in a sensible way and making sure that the great consuming countries get a fair deal. And making sure that the poorest countries that are supplying all those others get a fair deal as well. The world's great contradiction is the economy we have enjoyed so much over the last 10 years is in direct contradiction with saving the world. Saving the economy, as it is, involves borrowing more, creating more money, at the bottom of which there is digging more stuff out of the ground, taking more out of the sea, growing more food, and chopping more stuff down. We need to stop that to save the planet. So at the moment, we're on a diverging path to Armageddon. Bluntly. The only solution. Controlled balloons, how dramatic is that? <laughs> is if whatever we're doing is good for the economy and the world. You can't tell everybody in the developed world to go and burn their clothes and live in a cave because bluntly they're not, not going to do it. So it's got to work towards a good quality of life for us and saving the world. What this means is stop spending to, dr to drive consumption, but start spending and borrowing, yes, we're going to have to do that for quite a while, to build sustainable assets. Yeah? No. I know someone who's just announced that's a policy. Did anyone else actually read that? The happiest moment of my year, yesterday morning. It's our friend Mr. Obama. Has just announced the biggest infrastructure development in the US since 1951. It should be absolute headline news because that signals a seed change in the way that capitalism is organized. It's brilliant. Why do you have to start doing this? Because without assets, the whole debt ratio collapses. So you need to have more assets. Without sustainable assets, the world runs out of resources and we all die in a puff of smoke. To build sustainable assets, then you have more asset to prop up the debt of the economy, which keeps the economy going in a sustainable manner. Have sustainable assets and planet supplies and all the people in life on it do too. What is a sustainable asset? Well, it's a cycle path, or it's a railway, or it's a wind farm, or it's better methods of agriculture, or it's healthcare systems, or it's homes for all, including all disabled people. It's technology, it's education, education, education. It's art galleries, it's museums. It's anything that's good for us that is actually a tangible asset and is not just another pack of something crap and bubble wrap that we use up, throw in the bin and never ever use. It's as simple as that. How to do it? Here's an example. Yes, we will bail out the car companies. We can't afford to put half a million people across the US and the UK out of work. But we have an opportunity to control them like we've never ever had before. So we say to them, yes, we will bail you out but for 20 years you have known how to build electric cars and you haven't done so because you make more profit out of oil. So we will keep you alive, but by God, you get your electric cars to market within three years or we're coming after you with the army. <laughs> <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is a Ford Mustang, one of the most desirable cars in the United States of America. What's special about this one is not as colour as that, it is an electric Ford Mustang. It's been in existence for three years and so far they sold none because they haven't put it to market. Because they make more profit by selling petrol driven ones. We have a chance to force corporations to build sustainable assets because for a few years we're going to own them. The taxpayers. So make this shift to the sustainable economy right now. What's the short term strategy? Pure capitalism? No, we're proven it can survive for one generation on debt. Well done, pure capitalism. Pure communism? No, that doesn't work either. It's somewhere in the middle. Everything, the answer to everything in the planet is always somewhere.